So what's up YouTube, it's your girl Shar. Come here with me, come here with me. Yes, honey, you get the picture. Listen, today we're gonna talk about old Marty Mar. Honey, Marty Mar gives me a headache cause see, I can't make sense of what he be talking about, right? But what I do know is that Marty Mar think that his stuff don't stink. I can vouch on that and I guarantee you, I can go to the bank cash it and it won't bounce all right listen marty mar is out here in these streets planning um a birthday party a birthday celebration which means that you have to take the time to plan that which means that you have to get somebody you know a, a birthday planner or you know a party planner or something of that nature means that that just takes time energy and money and all of that good stuff you mean to tell me that you had the time and energy to plan your own birthday party but you ain't got time to plan your own child Woo child listen i hooked you today all right i pulled you in I hooked you up and I made sure they cooked you behind, right? Because here's the reality. It's the time and the energy for me, right? I don't understand how you can be the father of the year. I don't understand how you can be this super dad, uh, this nice guy. I'm a really nice fella, like you like to say, and you have no motivation to be the best father. Although you, you you identify yourself as being, I'm an awesome dad. I do what I'm supposed to do for my kids. I show up to school events on the seven days that I got them. And I'm just an awesome dad. Um, I tell my children that they, you know, they don't supposed to wear chains because it's flashy, flashy. And they can wear watches, but not chains. I'm a super dad. But you don't take the time to even plan or even say happy um, birthday to your children. It's the time and energy for me, Marty Mar. It's the time and energy because I'm trying to understand where does the time and energy come from that you will think that it's okay at any time to, one, plan your own birthday party, announce your own birthday party just before we are right after we see that you did not even mention your own child's birthday party or birthday, should we say, or you didn't even say happy birthday, should we say allegedly right because you could have called off camera and said happy birthday to your child so we're gonna say allegedly right or we've even seen you come and try to intrude in somebody else's birthday party that they paid for with their money um and intrude in that because you feel like you should get a piece of that pie so i'm trying to understand why is it that you have time to plan your own but not your own children and you want the father of the year award no sir we can't do that you're gonna have to get somebody else to do that we're not handing the Father of the Year award to you. You don't deserve that, right? So I just say the nerve of bro bro. You know what I mean? It's the nerve for me. You got a whole lot of nerve and energy and balls to do some stuff like this. If I was you, I would still be playing high and go seat. Catch me if you can, all right? But the fact that you thought that it was okay to go and broadcast your birthday. But you know what the bigger picture is here? You just proved us all right. You are very self-centered. You can only see, hear, and feel Martell. You don't care about nothing else. So anybody that's in your circle that think that you possibly could care about them, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey, no bacon, no ma'am. He does not care about you or nobody else. Unless, unless it's beneficial to bro bro. Um, so I said I was going to waste a whole lot of time on you. I, I will post in this video the clip of his birthday party, his birthday bash that he is celebrating. He had to get a planner. He had to make sure he got the drinks on smash. He had to get the location. He had all this time and energy for himself, but not his own children. And you want the father of the year award. I'm sorry we can't give you that. It ain't making sense to me. The math ain't mathing. I'm sorry we can't give you that. But here's what I would say, because y'all know I always got to get the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say that maybe you called the children behind the scene and you said happy birthday. Because it's not necessary that you do it on social media. There's no rule to that, right? To, so little old us can see, right? But you're so quick. And the reason why I, don't, I strongly believe that you didn't is because you're a show off. And if you did, you would have recorded you like, oh, I'm saying happy birthday, baby girl. Or you would have took a little picture of you guys on FaceTime. Or you anything that says that I'm father of the year, you would have broadcast that thing. And just the fact that you didn't tells it all. We know what kind of dude you are. You're a show-off. We know what kind of dude you are. You're a show-off. So 
I'm not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm just giving that scenario that maybe you did call the baby off camera, okay? Um, and not on social media and say happy birthday, okay? But, but, knowing the kind of fella that you are, I'm going to have to assume that you did not do that because you like to be seen. You like for everybody to strike your eagle. You like for everybody to pat you on your back. Look at Marty Mar. Look at Marty Mar. So you'd be like, yeah, well, you know, in that nature, you know, things of that nature. You know what I mean? You like that. So the fact that you did not do that only would tell us and me none of that took place. So you like the crash parties that don't that you didn't plan. You like to try to ruin things that you didn't plan. You like to show up unannounced that you were not invited to. You don't like to say happy birthday to your children because you don't want nobody to do the math and allow the math to math, right? But you somehow time or find the time and the energy to plan your own birthday party. Woo, child. So my other question would be, who paid for your party? Hmm. You probably didn't even pay for this party. You probably didn't even... I contribute to the funds of paying for this party. Not only that, you probably didn't even do the planning. All you probably did was sit in the background and dictate because we know you like to dictate, Marty Mara. You like to tell people what to do because when control leave you, you like, I'm, I'm out of here. Watch. You ain't going to tell me what to do. I'm a, I'm a grown man. Watch, watch, watch. Watch out. We know what kind of fellow you are. So we can only assume that one, you ain't paying for this party. Two, you ain't playing this party. Or maybe you did, because you like, you self censor But we know you ain't paying for it. Somebody else is paying for it. Because you don't like to spend your own money. You like to spend everybody else's, allegedly, in my opinion. Listen, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Who paying for this party or not? You know what I mean? Is it a Sheree? Is it Ariane? You know, is it any of them other pick me that we don't know about yet? Who paying for the party? Okay? We want to know who's paying for the party. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Who's paying for the party? Is it Marty Mara or the pick me's or the ones that think they're the girl when they're really not? Child, listen. Or is it him? Okay? Meet me in the comment section. Turn your notification on. Hit the like button and subscribe. All right? Listen, I'm out of here, y'all, because uh, I got to put my glasses on on old Marty Mar because Marty Mar got me chopped this morning. You mean to tell me that you got time to plan a party, but you ain't have time to plan your child's party or let alone do things in decency and order and get online and say, happy birthday, child. Woo, child, I got to go, y'all. I got to go.